Welcome to Carly Tackles, automatic watering system for your garden using free rainwater. If you haven't already seen my video on how to make a rain barrel water system, you should check that out first. I purchased this utility water pump to help pump the water out of the rain barrels and into the garden. I also purchased two 50 foot soaker hoses and two female hose menders. I already had a hose splitter. When I set up the rain barrel system, I left a space to install the pump. I made sure the spigot and the pump would be lined up. To help protect the pump from the outdoor elements, I'm using a plastic container with the lid side facing down. I need to drill a hole for the power cord to run out of the container. I'm choosing to put this hole inside of the lid. To install the electrical cord, I'll need to cut a slit to help slide the cord into this hole. Using cutters, I cut my way to the hole. Slide the cord through that slit until it's running through the hole nicely. And then I'm pulling all the excess cord out so I don't have to deal with it. And now you should be able to close the container. Using a 1 8 drill bit, I'm going to drill a hole through the plastic lid into the pallet. There was already a mounting bracket available for the pump. While I'm drilling holes, I decided to drill some drain holes. Just in case water does happen to get in there, we don't want that pump to be flooded. There could be a leak around one of your faucets or one hell of a storm. So you want to have a way for water to get out in case it gets in. Next, I'm going to drive that screw into the first hole that I drilled and secure the pump down to the pallet. Place the top back on to the lid and snap it in place. Grab a black Sharpie marker and we're going to mark where the hole for the hoses should be. I'm trying to line it up to the two ends of that pump. And then I remove the lid and measure the height. It's about two inches from that bottom lid. So my dots were really close to being accurate. I just had to change one of them. Using a hole saw, I drill a hole. Now I accidentally grabbed the middle size hole saw that came with the diverter kit, which is one and a half. I should have used a one and a quarter inch hole saw, which I will correct on the other side. And you can see it's a little bit bigger than it should be. On this side, I used the one and a quarter inch hole saw that came with the diverter kit. Now don't forget the tip with plastic. It's best to drill your holes in reverse. And when I insert this hose, it's a much tighter fit. That's the one you want to use. So to give you an idea of what this will look like, you can run a hose into this end and connect it and run a hose in the other end. One thing to note, your pump has two males, which means I had to make two female to female hoses. That's why I needed the mender kits. If you want to see how I do that, check out my rain barrel video and I show you how to install a female mender kit to a hose. The instructions for this pump said to add half of a tablespoon of vegetable oil, food grade, in the inlet. There's a little fan propeller thing on the inside that would like some lubricant before you start. And if you don't do this, you could possibly burn up your pump. So I got my half tablespoon of vegetable oil there. And I'm going to try to tilt the lid up because I still have it screwed to the pallet and pour that vegetable oil in. And I take my finger and try to rub it through that propeller and just try to work it in there. I did spill a little on the lid, so I did add just a tidbit more vegetable oil. I wanted to make sure it has what it needs. Now the instructions also say you want to put some water into the pump first before running it. Now if you have your rain barrel higher than your pump, you shouldn't have to do that. You should just turn on your spigot and water will already be up against the propeller when you turn it on. Once you have the oil in there, you can connect your inlet hose. Now I connected the outlet hose off camera, but it's the same concept. You've got to run it through that hole, kind of lift up on your lid to get in there and tighten it. As you can see from these pictures, the plastic tub did do its job. 
open your spigot on your rain barrel to allow water to run to the pump and then to turn it on you simply plug it in. And I did leave one of my soaker hoses off to validate water was coming out of it. Now as it is, the pump is not an automated thing. You have to manually plug it in. To make it automated, you can purchase one of these smart outdoor plugs. This gives you the ability to set it up on a timer or you can just turn it on and off from your app or if you have your Alexa device in your home, you can give it commands. One thing to make sure, you have water in your barrel. If you are running this on a timer and your barrels are dry, you will burn up your pump, so you need to check that out. The pump does pull a lot of water quickly. I wanna say it drain two inches from each of my rain barrels within a short period of time. So you might wanna get an idea of how long to run versus how many inches of water it takes out so you know for future use. The pump does seem sufficient enough to run two soaker hoses using a splitter. I would not recommend connecting one soaker end to the other. The second soaker hose will not get as much water. One of my subscribers commented on my rain barrel video. Her concerns was using rainwater from your asphalt roof to water your vegetable garden. So I did some research and she's right that there are some pollutants and fecal matter that can run into your gutters and rain barrels that may not be the best to water your crops. One of the things that I found was that using a drip irrigation like with soaker hoses is better than spraying the water onto the plants. You want to avoid getting the leaves. This seems to have less risk. If you prefer not to take that risk at all, I do have another solution available. Instead of connecting to your gutter downspouts, you can flip these lids upside down using a hole saw, drill a hole, and then I put a screen with silicone on the underside to help prevent any bugs from getting in there and to catch any debris to prevent it from going into the rain barrel. This water should be much safer to water your garden. Thanks for watching. Carly tackles an automated watering system for your garden using free rainwater. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this, please subscribe to my channel. Carly Tackles DIY, tools and gadgets, tips and tricks. And make sure you hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new content.